Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, SKK Engineering. If you haven't subscribed already, now is the time to do it. Also, give this video a thumbs up and let's start with the review. Quickly, I want to mention that this video is not sponsored by any means. It only represents my opinion based on my work with this particular multimeter. Well, the brand is UNIT and the model is 133B. I have been using this multimeter for a while now and I can say it's doing a pretty good job actually for its price, which is around $20-25. It came in a carton box which consisted of the multimeter itself, already with the cover, silicone cover over it, a black and uh, red probes, a pair of 1.5 volt batteries and an instruction manual. Now, before using any equipment you have purchased, you must read the manual that comes with it, not only on the option on how to use it, but also how to use it safely, which is also very, very important, guys. So yeah, please read your manuals. Multimeter is a handy one, it's not very big in size, which is a positive thing for sure. The cover not only protects it from damage, but also gives you a very nice touch. It, the multimeter has a stand on the back, which is something very useful also, by my opinion. It helps you just to position it like that and use it. The multimeter has a wide range of functions, which I will seriously explain in a series of videos. And for now, for the purposes of this review only, all you need to know are the basics, the quality and my uh, opinion on the product itself. It comes with a relatively big display, which has a backlight function included, which is very useful if you're working in dark spots, dark places, and uh, yeah, something not all testers have. The range of the multimeter is also a high one on, for the voltage. It's up to 600 volts, both AC and DC. It has the NCV function, which is for uh, measuring voltage without the probes. It has the uh, 1.5 and 9 volt batteries tester option and of course the current measurement function and the resistance measurement function. Also has the beeper sound for continuity measurement in a circuit and there is also the function for the diode tester. Now the multimeter has three slots for the probes accordingly to their functions. So the left one is actually for the red probe and it's for the current measurement. It is protected by a fuse 10 amperes. This is the range up to 10 amperes. This is for the red wire. Uh, the middle socket, the middle slot is for the common wire. It's called COM and this is actually for the black wire. The right one the right socket is actually for the red wire as well, but for the functions like continuity measurement, diode testing, uh, beeper, uh, capacitance measurement, voltage, resistance, and milliampere. I have been using it for a while really, and I can say it's doing pretty good job for its price. It's not an expensive one, it's small, handy one, and it's doing just fine, fine job. Now, guys, uh, as a summary, I can say that it's really, by my opinion, it's a fine meter. Works, works fine, works reliably, and has a huge range, range of functions. Of course, don't forget to subscribe with the notification included, not to miss any of my other videos in the series on how to use all these functions in particular. I'm going to show you thoroughly with experiments and with practice how and what you can measure with this particular multimeter. Also, share your thoughts on the video or the brand or this model itself if you have it, if you're thinking to buy it, anything you want to mention, do it down in the comment section. Of course, if you have any questions, you can ask me also there in the comment sections and I will do my best to answer them all. Now, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you around.